it's yet another time to join Wangara the Storyteller for story time. And yes, she has another interesting story lined up for us. Do you have friends? What do you do with your friends? Well, I have another question for you. What kind of friend are you? Are you the kind of friend who helps their friends when there is work to do? Or are you the kind of friend who, when you see your friend doing any work, you run away and only come back when it is time to eat or time to play? Hmm. Today's story is about a little red hen and her friends. And it comes from this book, The Little Red Hen. Let's find out what the red hen and her friends are up to. Once there lived a little red hen in a pretty cottage with her three friends. A talkative duck, a proud cat, and a sleepy dog. Hmm, interesting friends there. The little red hen did all the work. Her friends never helped her with the daily work. And one day, while she was working in the garden, the little red hen found some grains of maize. And you can see over here, the little red hen is working in the farm all on her own and her two friends are playing, not helping in any work. Who will help me plant these grains? She asked her friends. We are busy, her friends said. And so the little red hen planted the seeds in the garden all by herself. The little red hen took care of the seeds and watered them every single day. And after some time, the seeds sprouted and soon maize was growing from the stems. Ooh. When the maize was ready, the little red hen asked her friends if they could help with cutting the maize. And once again, do you think they helped? Mm -mm. They did not help her at all. Hmm. Not very good friends, I think. All right, said the little red hen. I will cut the maize all by myself. And so she did. After cutting the maize, she separated the grains from the husk and put them in a big, big sack. Well, you have some maize in a sack. What is the next thing to do? Mm -hmm. The little red hen had to take the maize to the miller. Who will help me carry the grains to the mill? The little red hen asked her friends. Once again, no one helped her. And so she went to the miller alone and she got the grains grounded into flour. And you're, there you have the little red hen and the miller and they are grinding the maize to make flour over here. Who will help me bake bread? Asked the little red hen when she returned home. And as usual, nobody, nobody helped her. And so the little red hen baked the bread all by herself. When the bread was ready, the little red hen asked, Who will help me eat the bread? I will, I will, said her friends together. But the little red hen said, None of you helped me plant, cut, or thresh the grain. You did not even help me to bake the bread. And so I will eat my bread all by myself. Hmm. Well, I hope that the next time there was work to be done, the other two friends offered to help because if you want to benefit from something, you have to make sure you work hard for it. Well, that's a very good lesson for today. And as usual, I am here at the textbook center and there are so many books around here. If you like this book, please 
Come with your parents, come with your guardian, come with your grandmother, grandfather, your uncle, your aunt, and ask them to get you this particular book. Bye!